The new Blue Water 1500 Lumen Focus Light is our newest upgrade from the original Blue Water 1000. It features a 100 degree beam, an ultra long burn time of up to 90 minutes at full power, a depth rating of 100 meters or 330 feet, a white light, a red light, and an SOS mode. At 145 grams, this little light offers unlimited focusing opportunities for an excellent price point. Check it out. Hey guys, this is Nirpom from the Underwater Photography Guide and Blue Water Photo. Now, I'm super excited today for two reasons. One, I got a new shirt. Two, we have a new Blue Water 1500 lumen focus light. This focus light is an update to our old Blue Water 1000. We've added 500 lumens and it's an awesome price retailing for $225 for the light. Now, for this next week, we actually have it on special at $175 until June 24th. So if you see this video now, make sure you click that link below and get that light for yourself. Now this light is designed for anybody that needs a small compact light to go on top of their camera system to help their camera focus underwater. It's also a great option for night dives and honestly I've been using it as a dive light as well so I've been enjoying it thoroughly. Now uh, the light itself comes in this nice blue water box so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. Now inside the box we've got our Blue Water 1500 focus light and it's in a nice padded case that you could actually travel with the box quite nicely. Uh, the focus light comes with a YS mount so if you want to put a YS ball mount or a YS arm on the end of the light you can do so. Uh, this doesn't this isn't included but I have an example right here here's a YS mount from ultralight and you can go ahead and tighten up that ball mount. And now you've got a solid mounting ball that is actually also flexible. So the YS mount's pretty cool like that, but if you don't want the YS mount, you can actually remove this ball and the mount itself from the light. And you can add a ball mount, which is a little bit tough to get out of this case. There we go. Here we go. So you can add a ball mount to the bottom of the light like so. And the package comes with some screws as well as a Allen key to help you attach the ball mount. So I'm gonna go ahead and attach that ball mount now. All right, so we've got our ball mount attached. Uh, another cool feature of this light is it actually has a carry lanyard which comes in the box and the carry lanyard can go on the back of the light. You do have to push it through with a paper clip, it's kind of a tight fit, but once you get it through you can actually use this as a dive light, just a standard small dive light with a great beam. Now finally we've got a battery included in the package. It is a 21700 battery. So it's not your standard 18650, it actually lasts a little bit longer. And the nice thing about it, it has a USB-C port on the battery itself. So all you have to do is plug in this charger that's included and you plug it into the USB-C port and this has a USB cable so you can plug this into your computer, into your car, anywhere you go. I've actually been diving with this light for the last couple weeks and I've just been plugging it into my car on my way to the dive site because of course I've been too lazy to actually charge my batteries beforehand. So let's go ahead and open up the light. This is how you open the light. It's a simple screw on, screw off. It's got two O-rings for a double O-ring seal. So it's actually 
a nice seal that is unlikely to flood and if it does your battery compartment is separate from the light head so most likely you'll just have to replace the battery now the battery slides right in there and you screw it back on and you are good to go so the burn time for the light is 90 minutes and what I found that to mean is if you have the light on the whole time you've got about two dives with it now that is actually quite a bit. I think our last focus light was an hour burn time and most focus lights out there are an hour burn time. So having that extra 30 minutes doesn't sound like a lot, but if you're doing 45 minute dives, that's two dives and you're good to go. Even if you're not doing 45 minute dives, you don't have to keep the light on full power the whole time. If you drop the power down just a little bit, then you'll get longer than 90 minutes. So let's run through a few of the settings on the light. Now operating the light is quite simple. All you have to do is hit this on button and you hold it down and now the light turns on. So to cycle through different power levels, all you have to do is you keep pressing that on button. So you're at 100%, 50%, and 25%. So you've got those three settings. And then if you wanna to switch to the next color of light, which is red, you just hold the button again and now it switches to red. Now a red light is very beneficial for animals that can't see red light underwater, which is actually most animals underwater. So you can sneak up onto animals, take your photos, and they'll never notice a thing. Now, you can keep the red light on when you're taking the photo, but you'll want to add a lower power if you're using that to help you focus. Or you can sneak up with the red light and then switch right over to the white light and you're good to go. Now, even if you're not using the red light to take photos, you can actually use it on your night dives. So if you've ever noticed when you're on a night dive, you get a lot of worms and stuff in the water that's attracted to you, the red light helps those go away. So I tend to dive fully on the red mode when I'm on a night dive and then I'll switch it to the white mode when I'm taking photos. Now there is one last setting on the light, that's your safety mode, your SOS mode. So if you're ever in trouble, all you have to do is hold the button down for two seconds. And now you've got an SOS mode flashing. So you can point it to a passing ship, get picked up, or whatever you need to do. It's just nice to have that safety feature, but of course, hopefully it's not going to be necessary. So another cool feature of the light is this battery level indicator. Now that battery level indicator is actually on the front button. Now when that front button is blue, that means your light is fully charged. When it turns green, that means your light is 50% through the battery. And then when it turns red, that means you're at 25%. Now, when I was actually diving with the light, I noticed it turned red a little bit earlier than it should have. That being said, I still got my full two dives out of it, two hours of burn time. Uh, and I was going between modes. I had it on full power, medium power, low power. So it extended the burn time a little bit. Even the, the battery light indicator is not 100% accurate, but it is a nice feature to have so that you know, okay, I might need to charge this battery before I dive. Now, if you're a tech diver, you can still use this light. It is depth rated to 330 feet. That's 100 meters, so it can go well beyond any kind of recreational depths. Uh, I didn't have any problems with flooding, and I don't plan to. Having that 2 ring seal is just a really nice feature on the light. And when it comes to weight, the light weighs 265 grams above water and 145 grams underwater. So it's really lightweight, compact. That's what you wanted to focus light. You don't want anything fancy. So when I was using this light underwater, I had a great time with it as a focus light, but I did try to do some video clips with it. Uh, it did work out quite well as a video light too. 1500 lumens is not quite as much power as you would want for normal video, but if you need to take some video in a pinch, this can actually do the trick. I also played around with it for some photography and I was able to get some cool backlighting with it and I also uh, used it for creative red lighting so you could do that with your backlighting you can actually use the red light and then kind of put it back behind your subject uh, and then I've also used it as a primary light for taking photos now again it's not super powerful but if you're on a night dive or in a pinch this light will still be able to take photos for you Finally, this light has a one year warranty. So if you go out and buy it now, it's good for one year. We'll replace it or do whatever we need to do to get it working for you uh, within that one year time period. So that's my overview of the Blue Water 1500. If you have any questions at all, make sure you drop it in the comments below or reach out to us at sales at bluewaterphotostore.com and we'll get you set up with the light. Uh, it's a great price for $175 for the next week and then $225 after that. If you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll get more great content, more reviews, and hopefully you'll see us coming out with some new Blue Water products coming soon. So stay tuned for that. And with that, 
I hope you guys are able to get out there, get some great photos with this focus light, and we're really excited to have this under our blue water name. Thanks very much, and I'll see you out there. Thank you.